1947 partition of India, partition of British India, is a signal event in humanitarian forced migration. It's the largest episode of forced migration from war, disaster, or crisis that we have yet ever seen or documented. And I started working on this project about uh, 10, 12 years ago, very part-time, and managed to get through a, a very good demographic study of the partition, that is the numbers who moved across both borders uh, of partition-based Punjab, and uh, found that it was getting increasingly difficult to get access to the libraries and documentation in India and Pakistan. It is a very big and complicated problem uh, because we have different languages, different governments, um, a fair amount of emotion on both sides still, and it's really important to get the voices of scholars from India, Pakistan, and hopefully from Bangladesh as we pursue this. So I got involved with the South Asia Institute back in the summer after my sophomore year when I was doing a public health project in Karachi, which is where I'm from, and that is where I met Professor Jennifer Leaning and really found the project interesting. She was focusing on partition from the Pakistani side of things, and it was a project that is like involved that I'm involved with through my family history, insofar as my grandparents moved uh, from North India to Pakistan. It's been a very meaningful experience and definitely something that I plan on continuing even when I go on to graduate school. What's fascinating to me is that this is an untold story that speaks to the humanity of Pakistan and India, government and local people, and it speaks to the resilience and sheer grit of the refugees. You know, the partition project uh, has the potential to be a worthy successor to our Kumbh Mela project in the sense that it captures what SAI is all about, that we will bring together on a topic of great import to the entire university and to many societies, bring together a variety of scholars from different parts of the world, include scholars in region as well as those at Harvard, include the students and so on and so forth. Uh, SAI now for the last five years, I can say, has uh, actively been doing interfaculty research projects and supporting our faculty by bringing not just the faculty, but also providing students who can help with the research, connecting our faculty to people on the ground who are also able to contribute to the work we're doing. So. Uh, having that experience over the five years on projects we have done related to neuroscience or university leaders training or something around disaster response and management in Pakistan. So having all of those experiences under our belt, I think we are well positioned to support the partition project. So ultimately, uh, what we are hoping with the SAI partition project is that it will be a documentary uh, site the entire span of British India, uh, and it will have oral interviews, as well as amass an enormous number of documents that at the moment are not easy to find uh, or retrieve, um, particularly those that are in the countries themselves.